Um, you mentioned the uh, health information exchanges for the states, and it's my understanding that if the states don't provide them, then the federal government will provide them. Yeah, so these health insurance exchanges, once again, you go on mahealthconnect.org and see ours in Massachusetts, um, will be these new shopping places, and they'll be the place that people go to get their subsidies for health insurance. In the law, it says if the states don't provide them, the federal backstop will. The federal government has been sort of slow in putting out its backstop, I think partly because they want to sort of squeeze the states to do it. I think what's important to remember politically about this is if you're a state and you don't set up an exchange, that means your citizens don't get their tax credits. But your citizens still pay the taxes that support this bill. So you're essentially saying to your citizens, you're going to pay all the taxes to help all the other states in the country. I hope that that's a blatant enough political reality that states will get their act together and realize there are billions of dollars at stake here in setting up these exchanges and that they'll do it. But you know, once again, the politics can get ugly around this.